Gig, how you doing, man? I'm great, Bill. Hey, congratulations on your new series, Bad Monkey. I had to binge it uh, just to find out what happened to the end. But what elements from Carl's book that you believe that is so good that needed to be adapted to the screen? Oh, that's such a good question, man. I mean, you, you probably read I'm a huge Carl Hyacinth fan, right? Um, look, some of my favorite movies, and I don't see people making them anymore, uh, Carl was friends with Elmore Leonard. They've turned his, you know, like uh, Get Shorty, Out of Sight, Jackie Brown, you know, these kind of, you think they're like a beach read and a big caper and banter-driven comedy. But at the end of the day, there's pathos and uh, uh, tragedy and real kind of emotional depth under them. Those are the summer movies I used to love, you know? And Carl always does it in Florida. He's an icon there. My family's there. Uh, my mom's family are all in DeLand on the St. John's River. They're fishing guides or my parents live in our uh, Winter Park outside of Orlando. Carl always does this, but with this kind of crazy eccentric roster of characters that bounce off each other because he's been a journalist in Florida for so long and seen them all for real. I just thought it would maybe be kind of a big fun summer movie uh, in a world that people hadn't seen that often. So was it a challenge to develop it into a series yeah. from a single novel rather than just a you know, a single movie. Yeah, you know, no, uh, no one's ever cracked Carl's books as movies because it's hard to get that stuff all in the 90 minutes. And I think he's gonna have a renaissance. So he, the dude, he's a great guy. He, you know, don't meet your heroes except if they're Carl Hyas and he's awesome. Um, uh, and I think uh, there's gonna be a renaissance because he had like 20 bestsellers of his material. Um, now that streaming show, you can really flesh it out and, and, and tell more than one story at a time. The only thing that made it tricky was we had to add some journeys and some character stories that weren't in the book. And for me, that was like going to your favorite author and saying, this is one of my favorite books, and I want to add like five or six chapters to the middle and have them not stink. So that was very daunting, you know, because I don't want to let him down. But it was also made it kind of like a fun adventure for me, and I've been doing this for a long time, man. It was why it was a blast. When you were casting Vince as Andrew Yancey, did you see um, a lot of Andrew in Vince, or do you see a lot of Vince in Andrew? Uh, I couldn't tell you where one ends and the other begins, man. You know, um, when I wrote the script, I wrote uh, a James Garner type, but we're going to need a time machine. But Vince and I have been talking about it. You know, Carl's characters are tough to cast because they either have to be authentic, because so it's like, you know, uh, the coroner has to be a young Cuban woman in Miami. Natalie Martinez is. You know, Neville has to be a young Bahamian kid. And uh, Ronald Pete, who played Neville, is a young Bahamian kid from Nassau. His dad was a politician there and stuff. And when he describes Yancey, it's like a physically imposing guy that is acerbic and sarcastic and does some fairly questionable things, but you're still supposed to root for him and find him to be a lovable underdog. It's hard to find that guy. But that is without a doubt Vince's aura, you know, as a performer. I saw it the second we got to Florida. So many people approach him as fans, but they act like they've been long lost friends. You know what I mean? And he has that affability and that humanity underneath the banter. Uh, it's why the show works, I think, or why I hope it works. Well, Bill, let, let me wrap it up with one last question, because, you know, th this is, is, is a serious drama, mystery, with comedic elements, but you use a lot of comedians in, in your in your cast. Tell us why that actually works very well for something like this. Oh, that's good, it's cool, because I think um, I think tone in America, you know, we're all excited to put shows in a box, our movies in a box, and I think tone and what a show is has gone out the window. It's one of the things I like, um, is I like my dramas to be funny, I like my comedies to have drama, uh, I'll, I'll end uh, with this is, uh, I think the best example was the Emmy Awards the other year because I thought they got it wrong. I think Succession should have been the best comedy and I think The Bear should have been the best drama. <laughs> <laughs> well said, well said. Bill, thank you very much uh, for carrying this conversation about Bad Monkey. Everyone needs to check it out, especially all the way to the end. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks, man. That was really nice. I appreciate it.